Hi, my name is Nick here at Sand Helper, and we are going to briefly go over the operations of the wheelchair so that you can start your vacation off on a great note using the Sand Helper Beach wheelchair. So when we deliver the wheelchair, we're going to find a nice spot for it out in the parking lot. It might be in the lobby depending on the situation, but either way it'll be off to the side and if you come downstairs in the morning, you should be able to find it out there. Alright, so the first thing you're going to want to do is to get the key out of the lockbox. There's a lockbox attached to the back of the wheelchair, so you're going to dial the combination in, slide the silver button down, and it swings open like this. So you're going to get the key out, and then you can close up the box and scramble the code while you're using the wheelchair. So the wheelchair operates on one battery at a time. You have another one as a backup. Whichever battery you are currently using, you need to have the power cable, which is on the front side of the battery, plugged into that battery, as well as the key, which is on the back side of the wheelchair. So currently, we are plugged into the top battery. The key is in this battery, and we are in the off and locked position. So this is the position that the key should be in when you are not using the wheelchair and you have the key with you. In this position, the power is off as well as the battery is locked to the machine. When you are ready to operate the wheelchair, you're going to turn it on by moving the key one click clockwise to the on position, which is where the key is parallel to the ground. There is a diagram on the back side of the battery box that reminds you of these three key positions. There is a battery meter right near the joystick on the controls box. The battery meter is accurate when the wheelchair is idling. If the battery meter is showing less than 20% when you are idling, it is time to move your power cable and the key to your backup battery. First thing would be to turn the wheelchair off by turning the key one click counterclockwise and from the off position, which is shown on this diagram on the back of the wheelchair, you can remove the key and move it down to your backup battery. Once you've done that, you can unplug the power cable from the battery you were previously using by pushing in on this clip and pulling out. And now you're going to plug that cable into your other battery that you are moving to. Now that you have the power plug and the key in your backup battery, you will then go ahead and turn the key one click clockwise to turn on the wheelchair. To charge the batteries, you're going to have to remove the battery from the machine by first turning the key to the off position. Then you're going to unplug the power cable by pushing in that clip and pulling the cable out. So now you need to go to the third position, which is the unlock position. To do that, you're going to push in on the key and turn all the way counterclockwise. And again, you can reference this diagram on the back of the wheelchair as a reminder of these three key positions. The chargers are in the pocket behind the seat when we deliver the wheelchair, so you can get those out. You can either charge both batteries at the same time, or you could even operate the chair on one battery while the other battery is inside charging. After charging the batteries, when you are ready to put them back in the machine, you first want to ensure that you have the battery in the unlocked position, which is all the way counterclockwise. If you are not using the wheelchair and you are leaving it parked outside with the batteries installed, before you take the key with you, make sure that you have the batteries in the locked position. To check that you have the batteries in the locked position, you can give the handle of the battery a light pull to ensure that it doesn't slide out. And then, take the key with you. When you are driving, the best way to stop the wheelchair is to just simply let go of the joystick. When you let go of the joystick, the chair will slow down and come to a stop. However, if you need to stop very abruptly, you can press this red button down. When we deliver the chair, the seat belt will be tucked through the seat so that it is not dragged while we were unloading the chair. Also on the control panel by the joystick, you will find the speed knob. When the knob is pointed to the left side, that is the slowest speed, and you can turn the knob clockwise and point it toward the right side for the wheelchair to move faster. The foot plate can be removed and adjusted to accommodate users of different heights. The best way to load onto the wheelchair is to flip the armrest up 
sit on the seat from the side, and then bring your legs around to the front. If you would like to change the angle of the backrest of the seat, there is a lever to the right side of the seat, and if you pull that lever up, it will allow the seat back to move. The best way to maneuver and turn is to stop the wheelchair, spin in place, and then go forward again, instead of going into hard left or right turns while you are already in motion. We hope that this video was helpful. Enjoy your vacation, and if you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out.